Well, I'm not sure anybody in Hollywood is busier than Andy Cohen. I mean, he's got all those real housewives to handle, right? And he wrote a new book, which pulls no punches with his celebrity friends, from Strahan to Oprah, even Taylor Swift. Nobody gets away unscathed. Taylor Swift and Katy Perry at yes. the Met after ball party. What happened? Well, I'm an idiot is what <laughs> happened. I mean, I say the wrong thing to everybody. And here I am, I say the absolute wrong thing to Taylor Swift. She's looking for a place to sit because Lady Gaga's gonna perform and say, well, your friend Katie's over there and there's all this room. I think she probably thought I was being shady. Andy Unfiltered is part of what makes him so popular with audiences and with celebrities. He's best buds with Taylor and Katie's ex, John Mayer. We have a real bromance. And the night that I hosted that Friends reunion that aired on NBC, I went and met John Mayer for dinner after uh, the show. And who are the only other people in the restaurant but the cast of Friends, including Jennifer Aniston? And I was sitting there with John. I go, I'm going over to that table. And what happened? John stayed behind. One big regret, though, bailing on Oprah. Anderson and I were on tour in Santa Barbara. And I kept saying to him, I'm looking at her Instagram. I know she's here. Maybe she'll invite us for like a sunset shot of tequila. So he's like, it's not gonna happen, dude. Get over it. I wake up the next morning to a text from Gail saying, Oprah wants you to come over for brunch with Anderson. Because and that couldn't... happens like every single day. Never! Sure. And I had to fly back to New York. I had a show. I had to pass up on brunch at Oprah's. There are so many dishy tales and superficial, more adventures from the Andy Cohen Diaries. At New York's Palm Restaurant, he says he and Michael Strahan once had a face-off over what he said about Michael walking away from live for GMA. Why leave this show where you're the king and you've helped re-energize the show and your name's in the title to go to a show where you're one of many people and it's not your show. Yeah, the book is a cavalcade of things that I've said that I've regretted. I mean, I regret saying that thing to Taylor Swift. It's like, I'm a moron.